Hello everyone, welcome back to another Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports of the second round. This time, on the second day of a doubleheader, we have is the Minnesota Wilds facing against the Colorado Avalanche and Ball Arena. This is their next location in Game 3 and 4. We're about to find out who is going to take another win. Right now, Colorado Avalanche has already have gotten a beat over beating the Wilds a two games in a row in Minnesota. But sometimes, however, Minnesota might have an answer back. So there could be only one. If they don't make that one successful, then it could change it over into Wilds' win at Ball Arena. We'll find out what happens here if there's the next one coming by. Standing by, we have his paintbrush along with Son of Beast and a center ice, we have his OJ. I'll be back with the post-game show. See you all later after the final period of the game. It's game number three at Mile High. Wilds and Avs ready for a rematch. Well, we're about to get settled off here. Paintbrush here along with Sunny Beast. This is NHL on EA Sports coverage of the Stanley Cup playoffs. The puck is dropped and we are underway. The crazy lineup is being here as followed. We have Mr. Chushke. Then from here we have a Spurgeon. From the back we have Miss Middleton. Then we have his Matt Zuccarello. Then it's Kirill Kaprizov right towards the angle. And finally we have in the middle we have his Hartman. The starting goaltender comes up in a huge save. That will be Alexander Georgiev. The Jewish game's right down to the other side of the level. Shot scores! That's where the first goal gets started here in Mile High. They got a good start for a one nothing lead. Now with that goal, the Nutrishkin really got a good one coming in. They got a great start. But sometimes, Minnesota didn't really want to start it off that quick. They really wanted to like say that this is not the worst thing and nobody has done it in the world. They really wanted to like try to settle it down again before they could do that one again. They really are starting to go over in and about. On the other side, we have, his, we have his Zuccarello. Minnesota on the fast break. Move around the middle. That's a save made by Georgiev. Toes. This is off to Minnejuske. Block gets taken and offsides called on Minnesota. Both players are set, ready to take the faceoff puck in a neutral faceoff zone. wins the faceoff as Byram gives off to Nito. Nito passes Gerard, now finds Comper. Dumba takes a steal, passes to Falegno. Byram's got the puck right near the neutral zone. Falegno to Dumba. Back to Falegno. Falegno passes to Arsenak. That shot goes blocked by Nito. Branson in right over into the wing. Sure, and it went to wide. Rantanen tries it again, now finds Nita. Shot saved by Gustafsson. Dumba over again. That will be the starting goaltender for Minnesota Wilds. Puck gets carried back to the Colorado, and now Byram over again to Comfer. Comfer right to the middle. Shot blocked. Now Broden over again to Comfer. Comfer to Rantanen on the other side, now by, by Comfer. Looking for player! Gustafsson got a piece of that one, and it will have to hold the puck here with only 15.49 to go. Now the players are ready to take inbounding. Still a 1 0 lead. Colorado on a great start. And the win goes up over to, to Abs. McCarr over to O'Connor. O'Connor! Puck carries out. Offsides called on Colorado Avalanche. They can't just leave the puck out there. They really are starting to go over and under. Kill McCarr has the elite edges to try to put in the playmaking of the crew. When he knows one of the players, he can try to like take an answer back and then try to take him over. When a, when a player goes right toward it, he can make a smooth cut in the elite edges of the setup. 
I'll be watching him for today in game number three. Back to you. Toes right over it again. The Avs work their way across into the Avs zone. Too broke to the wild zone. Nyquist got the puck here. We'll change your side to the Avs zone. To Sunvest. Kick the pad save by Georgiev. He's going to hold the inbounding right now with only 14.30 to go. More than half, more than a period coming down this frame. Still a one nothing lead for Colorado. Johnson wins the faceoff. Now he buys it over to O'Connor. O'Connor racing towards the net. Try! Stop by Gustafson with the save. He's going to have to hold it right from here because Gustafson really got to get that one in a good look. But not a great one because he might have to just try to like keep it over it and try to, try to go with the attack and get it done. With the win, here's Middleton. Passes to Kaprizov. Here's another attack for Kaprizov. With a shot! Save me by Georgiev. The Avs now into the wild territory. McKinnon with a breakable move and a good stop made by a defender. Kaprizov right towards again in the offense zone. Pass to Zuccarello shot. It's kind of save. McKinnon right over into the middle. Passes to the line. Moves around the net. Save made by Gustafsson. Middle 10 over to Kaprizov. Now he moves it over into the offensive wing. Passes to Zuccarello. Shot stop again by Georgia. Petrushkin right into the offense zone. Takes a slap shot. It's blocked by Middleton. Dewar went down. That very hard on the move can be a little bit challenging. Georgia will hold a puck here with only 12.08 to go to give it some time to get ready for the faceoff. Now Comfort wins the faceoff by Ram over to Nito. Nito into the wing. Chuck with a stop. Stopped by Gustafson with the save. 11.49 to go in the first period. Still a 1-0 lead. They're ready to take the faceoff here in the offensive wing territory of the Wings. Wilds. So, to meant that. Addison with the cross to Puck. Moves in the slot. Passes. D-War. Saved by Jurgit. He's going to hold it right now with only 11.23 to go. Jurgit's one of the best players in the goaltender. you got to give credit to that one. Now they're ready to go with another face-off attack. Still a 1-0 lead. 11.23 to go. Erickson Deck will win the face-off. Bolingo! That's a good stop made and it's under siege. The Avs work their way across now into the Wilds territory. Nito with the puck. Finds over to Rantanen. Top shot it. That toast with a stop. Gustafson's going to hold it right here with under 11 minutes to go in the first. Nearing the midway period of this game, Colorado still have a 1 0 lead in the first period. O'Connor wins it. Gerard's worth it. That one timer gets broken and it's a stop to buy the goaltender. They really are starting to go over it and under. They really wanted to get that pass play. They wanted to just try to like take him out. They really are trying to make that one offensive, make that drive an effort to go with the stop chain. Gerard went down. Save me by Gustafson. This is getting a little bit of hard in Bruin bounding. They're any closer to the mark of this period. They still have a one nothing lead. McCarr shot. Club saved it up by, by Gustafson. Now Boldy will take their team right to the wings. In a wing. Toes takes the puck. McCarr passes to Minito. Moving across to the wild territory. Saved me by Gustafson. They really are starting to pick it up already because they're really fast forward on their breakaway, Shen. 
Breakaway chain is not very easy, but they really are starting to pay them off like he did. Ballet along with a loose puck. Boldy over again with a two on one opportunity. Falling down to slot. Brody recovers the puck here into the wing. Falling down! Booked away! Brody right over the right, right, right behind the net. Now back over to the other side. Now here's Boldy. Eric's in that right towards the wing. Kalando takes it over with the puck steal. And now on the fast break. Gets fumbled up in the corner. Dumbo went down. Broden with the puck here now into the wing territory of the offense run. Zuccarello shot. Diving releases for Georgiev and he will hold it with just 8.02 remaining. That was a wild save. Great reaction though, but that was a great run. McKinnon has his work on its motion to take the ankle breaking of his offense. He can try to stay with the attacker right towards the offensive slot. Kaprizov has a run with the takeover for the wheels and he might have an over authentic run to try to keep up with the strain. These are the tough ones. I'll be watching here and this is going to be making the excitement move in game number three to find out who will take the next one in. Back to you guys. Right now the penalty is called on Colorado Avalanche and it's Logan O'Connor that made the slashing call. Power play about to get set for Minnesota Wilds. Erickson Egg losses the face off. They'll bring it over to their own territory. Kaprizov has the puck here now, vicious over again to Addison. Addison moving across the to the wing. The middle slot! That's the lifting. Gerard right into the corner. The Chushkin fires across to the backhand. They're keeping it out of the range here. They're really starting to go over it. They really wanted to get that out of here because that is a harder one to maintain. Here's Hartman with the shot. That got, shot goes wide. Addison to Kaprizov. Fires it for a cross. Saved me by Giorgiev. Hartman over again. In a slot. Denied by the goaltender. Giorgiev's going to settle it down as 6.34 remains in the first period. And we're getting closer to the mark of this period frame. Colorado still have a one nothing lead over Minnesota. Now there's Baldy. Fires across, it's blocked. Spurgeon. Spurgeon shot, save me by Georgiev. Now they will get ready for another face-off attack. They still have a one nothing lead coming down to 44 seconds for the Wilds power play. Klingberg to Zuccarello. Stick lifted. Puck leaves his own. And we got a attack breaks. The four on four is on. Zuccarello in the penalty box. Well, that's it for right now. The power play for the Wilds is over. And now the Colorados are going to get the power play to get it done. Four on four in the attacking range. It's still a one nothing lead. 26 seconds. Now it's Comfer. Toes with a shot. Lost the pass and they will now have to regroup here with her Erickson deck in the team. And right now he looks like he's coming out of the penalty box. Now they will bring the extra skater on for a power play to start for the Colorado Avalanche. Shot! Stop! Rebound save! Erickson deck fires it across on the other end. McKinnon has a run over again to Rantanen. Finds to O'Connor. O'Connor gets swiped down and it's Middleton. Carries out. McKinnon right towards the back. Deep pass to Rodriguez. On a one on one. Stopped by the goaltender with Gustafsson. 4.53 remaining in the first period in the, in the period of game number three. They still have a one nothing lead. Merton has an only tape to tape feed on the setup. When he has declared to give an offensive run on the power play set, he will get another run to bring it on, with another team to move in towards the closer of the deck. 
This run is a Tavius, and it's a wild of this run to try and keep over the range and on with the target. These two are the only head ones to make a match. I'll be watching the player for rant today. Back to you. He's almost ready to get out of the penalty box. Addison carries out into their own territory, and the Avalanche are done with the power play. They're very good trying with the with the angle of this Brokaw run. They really are trying to like move it out of you because they were really starting to feel it off. But going over with this net, it's not very easy that they are trying to keep it over it one by one. Oh boy, the Denver delay penalty called for minutes for Colorado and only 3.44 remains. The slashing call is called on Nichushkin. He's in the penalty box for now. Minnesota Wilds are on the second power play that's trying to keep up the run here. They still have a one nothing lead for Colorado. Spurgeon wins. Caprice off shot. Fires it to nice. Toes clears across the air from the offense zone to the wild zone. Caprice off over again to Guru. Looking over, Bondo! Locked away by the defender. Did not want to get stopped. They're starting to go under siege again, and the Wilds are trying to find an open range on the shot. The slot is very that difficult. They cannot find anybody else. They have to look for someone else to try to keep up the run. Georgiev saves it again, and now with only 2.30 left to go in the first period of the frame. Now they'll be ready to start for the, for the next part of the faceoff. It's still a one nothing lead for Colorado. Gutero wins it. Now finds Fulag now. Shot! Saves! Scores! They tie the game up at Hartman. Deflects one in with a rebound. They are starting to go rough on here because Addison just found out that, four, that Kaprizov and Hartman got that goal in. The game is tied by one, as right now the first period comes back with a light. Middleton passes to Hartman. Passes to Corello. Jura takes the puck away. Nito right over to the wing. Branson scores! That's make it snappy! They now back up by one. The little under took him. They're really starting to go right around it. Miko Rantanen, what a professional player this offense has put up into the slot. When he has that one in there, guys, he wants to get that one in there to try to keep it alive so Colorado can go back in to win another one. They're so tough, they can never be slowing down if they try to make a win out of it. I'll be watching one of the next players in the Twin Zones. Back to you guys. Delay penalty call. And right now, the Avalanche are on the run. They're about to start their power play. Well, the sun to cease now. The holding is called. Ryan Hartman in a penalty box. Seems like he's not having a good day at this point because he's really starting to go under, under hooking with these own. He's not going to have a successful year. Power play set for the Colorado Avalanche. Only one minute and 23 to go in the first period. Here's Dumba. He's across from the zone. In the corner. Finds the juice game. Pass broken up. We'll leave it out of the zone. And now we're down to a minute to go in the first period. Ball carries over to Dumba. Passes the war. Going for a short and a goal. And stop made. McCarr gets it over to Rantanen. Colorado into the Avalanche zone. To the Wild zone. Save me by Gustafson. Petrushkin on the attack. McCarr does it again. Rantanen on the bad pass. And they made a bad attempt to take the goal in. Well, he was way outside. He didn't really see it under it. It's save me by Gustafson. Scores! That's two goals. How play for the Avalanche. They now get their extension run to beat the first period. When that play comes in handy, he looks like he did beat the goaltender. 
That was the best one that he has made. Budera passes it over to Middleton. Middleton bumbles out. And that will do for the first period. Branson has two goals in this game. Three and one is where we sat here last. We'll get the second period coming up after the break. Off to period number two. Welcome back to Stanley Cup playoffs. It's about that, that time to get started. Now we're back in the game. Spurgeon over it again to Hartman. Now finds Kaprizov. Kaprizov in the middle. McCarr takes the puck away and now finds McKinnon. Colorado works in the zone. Gets bumbled down by Middleton. And now he will have that puck right away to Hartman. Finds Kaprizov. Off on the chain of attack. Worlds! Our man in the wash! Two Guerrero shot! Had an open spot there, but it was kept out for Giogan. Lacar passes Lacardin. Lacardin passes over to McKinnon. And Middleton takes the puck away. Fires it around the net. His toes right towards the ever angle. Nechuskin with the puck now racing towards in the air in their territory finds Copper shot. Hold it up! Rebound save! That was tough right now because Gustafson would have had that right timing down, but that was very close call because he really got in there. Nechuskin passes to Copper. Copper right towards the wing. Pass to Toes. Toes to Nechuskin. Shot away off the mark and it's off the glass. Nito looking for some help. Toe shot! Bucked it up right here by Gustafson with a save. Bogno right over into the wing. Takes a firing puck. Almost lost it there, but the Georgiev will hate. hold on with the puck, and now we're ready for the faceoff. We are down to this frame in this part of the period. Avalanche has been a, one of the best teams in the, in the league right now in the Western Conference. It's a 3-1 lead. Nato right over into the corner of the neutral zone. Bubbles out. Where's the next shot? Oh, he could have got three goals, but he made it save here. Boldy right over it again. Gets tackled down. Nito. Right over into the wing, the slot by Byram. Shot! Rebound save by Gustafson! Saving this one in points is going to be a very tough one. I bet it is. We haven't made it a big, big way to the mark of this period. It's still 3 1, Colorado. Sunbest right over into the wing. Now he's on. Passes to Bergerua, and a great save here by Nyquist shot off the net. Good Jurgen will hold it right from here, and he was going to hold it, save the whistle here for 15-21 to go. Now they're ready to do another attack. Time at attacks is 2.40 and 2.36. This could be a tough one, and they're keeping it. All oh, they have it in mind. They really are starting to pick that one up like they did. They really wanted to try to like stackle it up. But they cannot be left alone if they're going to try to like keep it over with the offense run to go over another different zone of ability. They really are trying to go over it and they need some, some a lot of time to try to think about it to go over with the passing moves in the offense and defense to try to stop the puck inbounding. Jurgen holding the puck and there are only 14.35 left to go in the second period of the frame. With the close range inbounding, it's still a 3-1 lead. We noticed that, that Gustafson really are trying to make that one maintain a run. But sometimes, however, with that one with the other side of the player, Alexander Giorgiev is one of the best goaltenders in the Colorado Ab zone. They really are trying to show them off because we know that Alexander Georgiev has been really paid, played a lot of his careers. A lot of saves have been made and bounding, but it didn't get the really exact same change like he was able to do that one on his own. Because of that one, all for nothing, it doesn't mean like he really wanted to like stay inbounding. They really wanted to try to like keep it over inbound, that they wanted to go over and under again. 
That's what Giorgi has done. He is really crushing it at practices. Hardman with the puck. Kaprizov left save by Giorgi for the save, and now only 13.29 to go in the second period. We still haven't made the midway period mark of a frame. Still a 3-1 lead for Colorado Avalanche. Spurgeon, stop blocked. Byron taking it over with the puck now. He gives it over to Malgin. Malgin fires it around the net. There's Spurgeon. Robert Gutis right over into the wing. Passes over again. Takes it about a new book. And a delay penalty called on Minnesota. They're going to get another power play to get it up coming. Ryan Hartman not really up, up to a success challenge. This is not turning out really well, but other players are really trying to like take the puck away. It's not very easy to try to go with the loose puck chain. Avalanche are on the start for the third, third power play. Still in the second period. Minnesota will try to keep it in bounding. Look out there! Oh, he would have had that three, but it was stopped. McCarr on the, on the attacker. Leaves the puck out of his own. He's McCarr, passes to Rantanen. Rantanen swinging over into the wing. Pass to Lakota shot. Rebound again! Oh, Rantanen couldn't get that saved in there with the power play. Shaw right over into the neutral offense zone. To shoot the puck, and Jurgen will hold it with the puck save here, with the shogunate goal being kept untouched. Now you're starting off in the next period, we're a part of the faceoff. Now with the win, here's McCarr. One minute to go for the power play with the Avs. McCarr on the edge cut. Shot blocked and it's denied by Spurgeon. Spurgeon really trying to like keep out of the range. The really are starting to pick up the run. Very slow to get there, but don't keep it in, in cover. They really are trying to work it off. The car pass to Rantanen. Rantanen gets bumbled out. Oh, got a wild tacker. That's Rantanen on Broden. Wow, that's a lot of heavy range. Attack it. That's what he showed off with the revenge to make a successful one to try to slow them down. Here's Gerard, passes over to Rodriguez. The cover! Shot saved by Gustafson. He's going to hold it with the mounting, nearing the midway mark of the period. Now we're in our face-off in the zone. Avalanche have a 3-1 lead over Minnesota. Here's an over win for Minnesota as they're on the attack. Gives it over. Pass to Copper. That gets stopped by Gustafson. Now they'll have to try again from here in the other different side of the wing. Still a 3 1 lead for Colorado. Copper wins it. Jerron! And it's stumbled down for Copper. The Wild regain their group. Pass almost went broken up. And that's it for the power play. It's over. What a great run here because they're really starting to pick up the mound mounting. They're not really trying to get the give up the power play for yet. But they're really starting to go over it and then try to go with the successful run and try to like spell slow them down. They're like blocking them at each other. They're very good, but they don't want to get on a slash call because they're really getting a lot of it. They're trying to keep the puck out of here. A lot of penalty kills for the Minnesota Wilds. Jorgen is going to set here with only 9.18 to go in the second period. Past the midway mark of the period. If you're looking to get tickets here for the NMA Sandy and BFDI, there's only one left. Do you have a last chance to make the call? If not, then that's it. Then all the tickets are will be sold out. So get yours today at nmacity.com slash tickets. We are so close to just down to a next month at Sabian Media Center and two months away 
to Gerald W. Lynch Feeder. Are you really excited to be here? Yeah, I'm really excited because this one's going to be a, a lot amazing to uh, have that run after the postseason of the NHL and the NBA playoffs of the postseason. It's going to be a blast. Addison has it across right inside. Good one shot! Who scores? They're down by one. You may have a one point advantage to get a tie game. Guru really never see it going, but that really is saying that he's on in a move. This man advantage could try to do anybody like he else he does. When Guru gets it right over around Georgiev, he's getting a good use of it to beneath his skills. Very tough to make that clear, but it's a very tough run. They are trying to answer it back. It's a one point advantage. They will have another chance to tie this game. Now they're ready for the face off. McKenna to toes, blocked it out. The Conan right to the corner. McKenna to Nachuski, and he scores. That's two goals in the game for Nachuski, looking for a hat trick goal to tie this game up. Well, they're not really going to tie it up right now because they are extending it, and they are really pushing along. Thanks to Rantanen, as right now McKenna got a good pass over to the Nachuski. Now with the win, here's Hunt. Moving around the net. There's a shot and a stop made by Gustafsson. Getting along the battle along the board. Collect up to Eller, saved by Gustafsson. Gustafsson's going to hold him in mid bounding with only 7-10 to go. Now they're ready to do another power play to get things started. Erzak wins the faceoff. Addison right towards the corner of the wall. Now back over to O'Connor. O'Connor pass again to Galando. Shot save. Addison right in across the corner of the wall. Leaves his own for the Avs territory. In a wild territory. Back over again to O'Connor. Now all are into the zone. Trying to pick up the run. One on one. Klingberg takes it over, now finds Faligno. In a wing in the up end zone. Lost the puck, and it's Eller takes away. On a one on one. Pass to O'Connor, shot, stopped by Gustafson. Rebound up, Bolton, save me by Gustafson. All of the alarm attackers are really starting to get a piece of that one. They're staying out of the net. Here they come, Spurgeon, and Spurgeon goes down on ice. Here's Hunt, passes to Maljan. Here's Hunt, passes to Rodriguez. Rodriguez right over to the wing. Move around the middle, save me. Gustafsson holds it abounding. Rodriguez blocked it up. Stop with a big save. Klingberg kicks the puck over right to Spurgeon. Spurgeon to Kaprizov. Right in the attacker. Pass to Hardman. Lost the puck here. Going to have to try to rebound again. Spurgeon players that went off wide with the target range. Hardman passes Spurgeon. Fires it! Stop with a bad save here by Georgiev. Maljan over into the wing. Trying to take the pack on the run. Move around the net. Alex is over to go to room. Room broken up. Pass to Sungvest. Sungvest shot! Hit a bad save here. Good one, Sungvest, and holds it well along the way. And Rod McGoose will have him back over into the wild territory. Shot blocked, and it's denied by Spurgeon. Spurgeon and her team are trying to like attack. They really are starting to get away with this. They don't want that one to try to keep scoring again. They want to try to attack it, and they want to get it out. Lakona gaps it over to the Tushkin. The Avs are now in the Wild Territory. In an attacking end, Middleton to Nyquist. Entering the zone. Nyquist shot. Club save by Georgiev. He's going to hold it right now with only under two minutes to go in the second period of the frame.
The Avs win the faceoff and they will continue with the possession. He went down, bubbled hard. No penalty called on Minnesota. Well, it looks like they're trying to like tackle, like they're trying to pick on each other. We don't want to know because if they're really starting to go bumbling out, they're going to have a tough time to try to keep shooting it again. Nearing down to the final minute in the period in the second, and stopped by Georgiev. He is going to hold it right now with just coming down to 56 seconds remaining in the second period. Now they're off to do it again. Moving over back to Nito. Nito on the attack. In the range. Finding over it. The pass is broken up. And Comfort recovers it. Stopping the play and bounding is Broden. Broden recovering over again to Baldi. Minnesota on the offense zone. On a slot. Erickson Eck. Finds the roll. Save by Jurgen. Wow. They are really starting to like tackle it out again. They're trying to close their gap in the offense zone. They really got a great stop out of it. They're really well. Well played for Colorado. That's what their team does. With a win, and McCarr will fling it out. So that will end the second period. A one point goal advantage for the Colorado and a 4 and 2 score. Nechushkin looking for his third goal when we come back after this. Are you ready? It's about that time for the third period. Puck is dropped and we are about to get started in game three and this has been an excellent, incredible night for the Colorado Avalanche. Now we do recap your son of beast. Let's find out how they did. What is it between the first strategy and for the first period and their statistics for the second period? They really are well starting to go well and behave. They really are starting to go over with the run. They really are getting a lot of it done for the first period. The power play goal really does seem to go up on a trick to start it off for the Avalanche. But sometimes that does happen for the Minnesota Wilds to get it over with the great impressive run. They really are starting to go right around the attackers. There are just nothing but they wanted to go for. They're trying to get it over it and they really wanted to do that one thing again. They got nowhere else to be going it because they really are starting to pick up the run and they got nobody else to leave it behind. The that one in the second period, they really are off to a great amount of a way. Scores! There's your hat! Nutrushkin gets a hat trick! That is three goals in the game three of the playoffs! Well, 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 Nechushka finally releases a third goal of this period of the frame. They have just started up here, Nechushka, what a night for him. As right now, McRanton have never really got a third goal of it. So it looks like we did have a winner for the hat-trick goal, and that was Nechushka. What a play for him tonight. And as you said here before, that was an excellent move out he did here with the play of this offense because they're really starting to go over it. Lakota are really are trying to make that one a good run and trying to put the slot out of it. But they really are trying to save in the second period. They really are offensing the run and they are just trying to keep them out. They're like rushing it. They really are trying to go over with the second period, but this is very not strength enough to get what they've done. They really are starting to go over and under it. Georgia only the puck here with under 17 minutes to go. Now they're ready to do another faceoff. The extension now is up by three, five and two for Colorado. Colorado Avs wins the faceoff and now it's McCarr. Trying to look for the slap edges to Comfer. Comfer finds Rantanen. He has two goals. But may not be noticing if he can go get three because the Chushkin got a goal. Oh, big stop by Gustafsson. Knife quest right along the way. And it goes out of play. Now they're ready to do another face off here in the offense zone. 
Now I'm getting screwed over with the win. Spurgeon right over across into Night Quest. Night Quest into the corner of the wing. Gets slammed down. And Brantanen will have it back. Brantanen trying to find it over with the offense run to pick up the run. Middleton grabs the puck here along the way. Recovers it, and a delayed penalty called on Minnesota. They will get a slashing call. There's too many penalty kills. They're going to have a tough time to get it done. And Gurderow is in the penalty box. Power plays on for the Colorado. That's their fourth time for tonight in game number three. And they're going to get back into the action now. Avalanche might go for the extension. And right now, here's Toes. Passes to Gerard. Now, Toes. Shot stopped by Gustafson. Right now, he will hold the, hold the puck here with only 15.09 remaining in the third period. Coming up tomorrow night, as we have the next one for tonight, tomorrow night, for another matchup. Right now, the Bolts are in Tampa, and they'll be playing against the Bruins. Right now, with a little game schedule mixed up. So sorry for the inconvenience, but right now, we're doing this one here again. As right now, the next matchup, it will be the Bolts and the Bruins at Amalia Arena. Follow along with the next one for double header at 10 p.m. tonight. That will be the Kraken. And the other side will be Kings at Client Pledge Arena. That's the same location for the first time in a second round of franchise history. So at this moment, we're looking for another goal to try to keep him out of here. That'll be up for tomorrow night's game presentation only on Son of Beast. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you don't, somebody will. Comper has it over. 30 seconds for the Avs power play finds Newbook. Newbook back going over to McKinnon now finds Rodriguez. On a fast break, passes to Comper. That padded out. Looks like he's ready to go out back on the ice there, keeping an eye on him. Looking for a short end it, and they will not do it here as the power play is over. Gerard back to Lakonen. They're really just starting to go over it. They've got a great offense to try to keep it out. But they're really just starting to like go under siege. When they really have the offense zone, they're really are trying to pick up the mound. They really are a good team. They're trying to like keep them out with the defensemen to try to go over and under. They are good on the pace. Shot stopped by Kusifsen. He's going to hold the puck here with only 12.24 to go in the third period. Nearing it close to the mark of his frame, Avalanche has been a better team. 5-2 run over the Wilds. Here's Hunt. That's too many bodies in a way as it all comes up with the heavy traffic. He goes down and under the board. Then just get back over to Hunt. Hunt right around the man. Trying to give it up. Backhander stopped made by Gustafson. McCannon by fighting for the loose puck. Right across to Nichushkin to fight. Pass the corner in. Burn it away by Gustafson. And they regroup the puck. Addison going right across. It's right now to passing in the zone for Colorado's done. Kaprizov looking over. Pass stop made by Georgiev. The Avs are now working a run into the wild territory. Minnesota back into the other end to Klingberg. Klingberg right into the wing. Look for the slot. Said stop by the goaltender for Georgiev. He's going to hold it in bounding. Right now it's only 10.24 remaining in the third. Nearing the closer to the mark of a mid-period in this range. Five and two is where he sat last in the third period. Eller wins the faceoff. McCarr gives it back to Eller. On the attacker is Eller. Broden trying to take it over. Eller recovers the puck. Fast to McCarr. Eller grabbing it over along the edge of the board. Collado, night quest back to Dumba. Dumba to the tongue fest. Sumbis looking over. Pass the shot, stop me! Toes over again to McCarr. 
McCarr into the zone. The offense run picking up steam. Pass to the killer. That shot tips wide. Dumba passes to Nyquist. Nyquist right towards the wing of the offense. Pass to Sunba. Shot. Read it in the front. Double time stop for Georgiev. Georgiev's on fire here because you know he is the best. Now he passed the midway period of the mark. Still a 5-2 lead in the third period. Looking for a lead series, a 3-0 run. Colorado finding Malgin. Entering the Wilds territory. The Wild will gain their puck in the offense zone to pick up their run to Broden. Running it over to Sunvest. New change up to Erickson Eck. Erickson Eck trying to look over with an open pass. Pass to Dumba. Back to Broden. Fires it! Stop the pass saved by Georgiev. Fine, no. Recovering it up. Georgiev will hold it here for the puck with 7.42 to go. We've been a wild night in Mile High. They're looking to get a third win in the second round to upset the run on the Wilds. Minnesota wins the faceoff. Boldy, fires across, that could not be in there for the deflection school, it stopped. Boldy, here he great save B, and he almost got the puck here with just 7.17 to go. Erickson Eck will win the face off here, but Carr has it back over now to Rodriguez. He fires it around the net. Seven minutes to go in the third period as this one comes down to just almost down for the third. Boldy move around the net and he scores. They're back down by two, but they may not be able to get enough if they're trying to look for the man opener on the offense. You say that Matthew Boldy was able to do with the goal. That's what he wants to do. He's really of his tough career saying, that's what I want to do with the success. It's not how about you get into the game. You want to stay up. And other players, don't get uncomfortable. Don't get over it. Blocked it up by, by again by a defender. Jones will grab the rebound. McCall right over it again. Now he will swing it over into this side. Passes the new block. Got it saved right towards the glass to Spurgeon. Hartman with the puck rebounding. Finding a man opener. McCona takes the puck away. Gets bubbled up to McKinnon. And Hartman will try to deliver it on their own side to pick up the run back again to Kaprizov. Kaprizov passes to Middleton. Middleton to Hartman. Hartman around the man. Throwing for the one hand. And stop saved by Georgiev. Rebound! Scores! They're down by one! Ryan Hartman really are trying to go with the ease run. Their score is just perfection to perfection. Hartman and their team are down by one. It's a 5-4 game, a close call in game three. McKinnon wins the base off and Byram will have it on her side. Gets bubble up. Spurgeon over again to Erickson Eck. Boldy trying to race towards. What an attack! That went too late and it went behind the net. Puck leaves out of the zone. And oh boy, another delay penalty called on Abs. They're going to get another extra skater on. It's not what you wanted to do. You can't just do that. Because that is a hard one. Nobody is ever going to take it over. And they're going to have a tough time to try to keep it out of here. The slashing call is called on Natushkin, and his night has been a coming into a nightmare. With the win at the cross, we have his OJ standing by. Kirill Kaprizov has a one exceptional to make that goal accountable. The wheels puts a chain. But it's a hard one to try to go with the inbounding to try to keep the attacker incoming. They have done a great one to make it maintained. 
I'll be watching Kirill Kaprizov on the power play to get the man advantage. Addison right over into the Wild territory to Boldy. Minnesota in the head in the zone. Fires across. Georgiev kicks it out with the Pats and save me. Zuccarello shot saved by Georgiev. He leaves it out of the wild zone. And he's attacking. Now finds Boldy. One minute for the power play for the Wilds. Zuccarello. Pass on to that. That gets off on the defender. Kaprizov. Trying to stop the puck and Addison with it right around to Zuccarello. Save me by Georgiev. Johnson reaching over and fires it out. They were really well to try to keep it over the range. That's not how well you wanted to do for the defensive to play with the slashing call. But that's a great recovery to try to keep him out. Boldy shot saved by Georgiev. 2 of 2 remaining in the third period. Nearing down the wire for the end of the second game. Now they're ready to do the, another face-off attack. Just about 10 seconds for Minnesota before the man advantage comes in for the Wilds. McCarr keeps it out of the net. And the power plays over for the Wilds. Great job for the for the Colorado Avs to try to keep keep him out of the net. They're helping him out with the with the defender and the goaltender for Georgian. They're really getting, getting good strength out there. They are just keeping up the pace. They're doing the best as they could. Well, now we are down right now. And this one has been an excellent night for the Avalanche for the Churchgood Wild Crazy Free Goals in a hat trick shot. Jorgen is saved. Hopper wins the faceoff, now finds Toes. Toes passes to Makar. Now back to Nito. Nito back over to Rantanen, just about one minute to play in the third period, and the fans are saying they can't be known to go from here. And he scores. What a play for Matt Nito. That play in the motion to drive, I thought that was something else that was. Nito was going to get there and right in front of it. My goodness, that Nita was going right around to Gustafson, and then it's been a wild night for Colorado to beat the wild zone. On a mile high. McCarr over again. Passes to Rantanen, and will take the empty net. Blocked by Broden. Not in time, and Nyquist over again. In a wild territory to look for another ride. Caprizov shot blocked. Two Shot blocked. Petrushkin keeps it out of the air and Sunvest keeps it alive. Dumba McKinnon will try to go for the empty netter. Shot went too wide and it's Broden back and well across the arch net. Fogno, one time, one timer left. Save. Holy try to get over it. Broden, save me by Georgiev. And that is the end of the third game. The Avalanche crushes the Wilds with an amazing time of the year. That is why the Avalanche got a 6-3 game. Well, this has been a wild night. Thanks for saluting fans. We always appreciate with another time to make an effort ability with a great time goal for the Avs. And they're looking forward to get a fourth goal to make the win to get in to the conference finals. For us, all this being said, paint brush along with Son of Peace and OJ, this has been a presentation of the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs. Thanks for joining us here and have a great night in Mile High. All right, thank you very much right now, as right now this game of the game comes to a wild run. Mile High team has scored a 6-4 game. They've been a game, successful run to try to leave it open. Here's how they give it the three star players of the game. Third star goes to Alexander Georgiev. 62 saves and this running of an abusive to go with a good save. Granted him with two goals and one assist and three hits. Definitely almost got a hat trick, but 
Looks like he did done really well to make the pass. But the hat trick comes in. The first star, Valery Nichushkin. Excellent runoff. And that is why he moves around it. A uh, move around again to Gustafsson. And that's why he called him the hat trick killer. Here's how they did with the total statistics of the game. Right now, here's how they did. 66 to 57 for the total shots on goal. Then it was 16 hits to 9 gifts for Minnesota and Colorado. 658 and 646 for the time on attack. 90 percentage here and 93 percentage for the passing. 34 and 31 faceoff wins for the Colorado and Minnesota. 8 minute penalty kill for Minnesota. It's getting too much already. And 6 minutes for Colorado. Almost got 2 minutes in right away. Both teams have a power play goal. 444 power play minutes for, for Minnesota and 650 for Colorado Avalanche. And that will do for tonight's game. Thank you everyone so much for watching for the Colorado Avalanche and Minnesota Wild. As right now we will see them back again for game number four after the NBA playoffs right across the screen. But for tomorrow night, it game has been rescheduled to Boston Bruins and the Bolts to the next part for tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Following along with 10 p.m., Seattle Kraken and the Kings at Climate Pledge Arena. Thanks for joining us and peace out everyone for a while as the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports style. This is me Phone 4 thanking you for watching. Have a good night everyone and get home safe. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.